Good morning, motor cars. It is Friday, December 22nd. Holidays on the horizon, holidays behind us. Uh, anniversaries this weekend. On the 22nd, Mario Hurd, who is in Toyota Sales. And on the 23rd, Jed Arshinovitz, who is a Honda Service Advisor. So happy anniversary to both of you. Birthdays this weekend on Christmas Eve, December 21st. Um, Serge, who is a Honda Loop Tech. So happy birthday, Serge. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about our responses on our email blasts and our newsletters and that kind of thing. Our list now is up to 83,922 people, which is remarkably large, um, especially due to the fact that not many of our customers opt out. Um, our customers seem to like our quirky sense of humor. One of our recent Toyota sales e-blasts featured a cute but creepy elf with insomnia and had an open rate above 36%, which is more than 10 points above what the industry average is. So people tend to like the things that we put out there. Our abandoned call rate is also below 3% for the past two months in a row, which is a really good number. Typically, anything below 4% as far as call centers go is a good number. Less than 3% is great. And the percentage of all calls that we've had to transfer dropped to 11% from 15% at the same time last year. And that means any calls that we get about any given subject, service or sales or um, having to do with their plates or anything else about um, what we do here at Motor Cars has dropped, which means that we know more than we ever have before here in the BDC. And that makes me happy too. I thought I would talk a little bit also about some of the other holidays that happen this time of year besides the ones that you might necessarily know, just so you get familiar with all the different things that there are to celebrate this time of year because like my family, maybe you want to celebrate a whole bunch of them. Bodhi Day, which is celebrated on December 8th, which is the Day of Enlightenment, celebrates the day that historical Buddha experienced enlightenment. So if you're a Buddhist, that's one of the holidays that you would um, celebrate. Pancha Gadapati, which is 21st through the 25th of December, is a modern five-day festival in honor of Lord Ganesha, and it's celebrated by Hindus in the U.S. Krampusnacht, which is part of my family's historical background, uh, is celebrated on December 5th, the night before the Feast of St. Nicholas. And Krampus, if you've never seen the movie Krampus, it kind of explains what the whole idea is, but Krampus is kind of an opposite side of Santa Claus. Um, he's a different character, and his job is, if you've been bad or if you sin during the year, especially if your sins were against your own family, he drags you down to hell. Hanukkah is an eight-day commemoration in Judaism, marking the rededication of the temple by the Maccabees after their victory over the Syrians. The Jews only had enough lamp oil for one day, but it lasted eight days. And the Jewish Festival of Lights is celebrated by lighting one candle each night on a special candelabra called a menorah. Kids often play games during Hanukkah, especially uh, one of the most popular ones I understand is playing with a dreidel, which is a four-sided spinning top with Jewish, Jewish letters on each side. And they give gifts and, and so on, just like a lot of other holidays. Ramadan is a month of daily fasting during daylight hours for Muslims that culminates in the holiday of Eid al-Fatir. Ramadan is the fourth of the five pillars of Islam. It is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar, and the dates are determined by the Islamic lunar calendar, so it can fall at different times of the year. Most Muslims try to give up bad habits during Ramadan, and some will pray more or read the Quran, the Muslim holy book. Many will try to read the whole Quran at least once during Ramadan, and many will attend services in mosques where the Quran is read. Eid al-Fatir is actually the festival of the breaking of the fast and is a time of celebration, forgiveness, giving gifts, giving to charity, and spending time with family and friends. Christmas marks the birth of Jesus Christ for Christians. It's preceded by the season of Advent, which is the period of getting ready for Jesus' birth. Although historians say that Jesus was likely born in July, Christmas these days is celebrated on December 25th by most of the world. Germany, Poland, Belgium, the Netherlands, and the Nordic countries celebrate December 26th as second Christmas, which hardly seems fair to me since we only get one. Boxing Day, which is primarily celebrated in the UK and Australia, is a day to give a gift or a tip to public servants, like police officers, firefighters, and delivery folks, like postal car carriers. Our family celebrates this holiday by making cookies and so on for all these folks. Kwanzaa is a seven-day celebration of African heritage and culture. It was created in 1966 by Dr. Uh, Molana Karenga, a professor of African studies at California State University. Kwanzaa begins December 26th and ends January 1st, and on each night the child lights one of the candles on the canara, which is a candelabra, and discusses one of the seven principles, unity, self-determination, collective work and responsibility, cooperative economics, purpose, creativity, and faith. 
People also celebrate Kwanzaa with feasts, music, poetry, and dancing. If your history is Germanic or Nordic, like some of mine, you might celebrate Yule, which is connected with the wild hunt, Odin, and Maudra night, which is Mother's night. These days, it's mostly called Christmas Tide and involves a lot of singing, drinking, and eating pork, which is part of why I like it. The Chinese New Year, the Spring Festival, marks the end of winter and the start of spring. It's based on the lunar calendar, so the date changes a little bit every year. The first day of Chinese New Year starts with the new moon and ends on the full moon 15 days later. And the festival always falls between mid-January and mid to late February. Traditionally, the celebration was a time to honor your ancestors and also your deities. People celebrate by cleaning their homes and decorating with red paper cutouts, lanterns, and phrases about good fortune. Fireworks are set off and there can be parades featuring dragon and lion dances. Friends and family come together to celebrate. Children often receive luck money given in red envelopes. Uh, let's see here. Omisika, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, which is celebrated by folks from Japan, includes house cleaning, repaying debts, purification rituals and parties and watching the four hour long red white singing battle show on nhk tv it's nice to know somebody else has a big tv fetish for holidays this custom has its roots in the ancient japanese culture surrounding toshi gamasama or toshi takas kamasama which uh, revolves around the practice of showing reverence towards the god of the current and upcoming years and about an hour before the new year, people often gather together for one last time in the old year to have a bowl of soba or udon together, a tradition based on people's association of eating the long noodles with crossing over from one year to the next, which is the meaning of toshikoshi. At midnight, many folks visit a shrine or a temple, and throughout Japan, Shinto shrines prepare mild sake to pass out to crowds that gather as midnight approaches. Most Buddhist temples have a large bell that struck once for each of the 108 earthly temptations that cause human suffering. I don't know what those are. I'm curious about that now. Yalda, which is celebrated on the 21st day of December, um, is an Iradians festival celebrating the victory of light and goodness over darkness and evil. And according to Persian mythology, Mithra was born at dawn on the 22nd of December to a virgin mother. He symbolizes light, truth, goodness, strength, and friendship. In modern times, Persians celebrate Yalda by staying up late or all night, a practice known as Shabchira, which means night gazing. Fruits and nuts are eaten, especially pomegranates and watermelons, so lots and lots of eating, singing, dancing, all that kind of stuff. Koliata, a Slavic winter festival celebrated in late December with parades and singers who visit houses and receive gifts. I'm not sure who actually celebrates that one, but like I've said before, my family likes to celebrate pretty much anything they can. So, Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy New Year, Happy whatever holidays you guys celebrate. We'll see you in the new year.